what is up people uh, i'm back once again and we're going to look at some pseudo science videos first reason why i eat meat is because it is a low vibration of food That's a good video. Whenever you see the word vibration being used like that, and I have a main channel video talking about all such words being used by pseudoscience promoters. Whenever you see words like vibration or energy or frequency or quantum being used in that manner, just run away, pack your things and run away because whatever is coming after that is pseudoscience. The word vibration is has a very specific meaning in science it's when uh, when something moves back and forth periodically we call that a vibration and the periodicity of the movement is where we get the word frequency from now when these quacks or these uh, pseudo sense promoters talk about vibration what they mean is some quality of something that's the sense in which they're using the word but they're using it using the word vibration to make what they are saying sound more scientific and it's just bullshit uh, so yeah that's what i would say about that and let's watch the next video There's a lot of pseudoscience in yoga and uh, that needs to be called out. I will soon be making a video on yoga, but regarding this specifically, see your height is determined by your genetics and your nutrition. So your genetics will determine the potential, the maximum height potential you have. And if you have good nutrition, uh, you will reach that max potential. If you're malnourished, you won't reach that max. But other than these two factors, Scientifically speaking, I've never heard of any other thing helping you. Uh, there's no uh, pill to gain height. There's no yoga that can help you gain height. There's no exercise in the gym that will change your height. You can't hang from... I've seen people say this. You can't hang from something to help you gain height. There's no way to stretch your body like that. If you want height, well, you don't get to choose your height because you don't get to choose your parents. You can choose your nutrition and help yourself reach that max potential that you have, but that's about it. For most of my uh, subscribers of this channel, my community will immediately be able to know what bullshit this is. But I can't believe that it, there are 449k likes on this video. I think we as a society uh, have been so, this magical thinking, that's what I call this, has been so normalized in our society that uh, people believe that things can happen magically without any mechanism, any cause. And that's a huge problem. That's what helps people like these astrologers survive. Yeah, and that's what makes people who like this video be prone to its mistake. Yeah, dude. And that's ultimately coming from childhood indoctrination and religion also that's something i say all the time that's what uh, helps people like godman and uh, charlatans like uh, ramdev get away with their scams it's magical thinking it's people thinking that things can happen without a mechanism i'm gonna watch one more yeah, i'll watch one more so if you're not using your reproduction process that is you're not bearing a child before you're 21 years of age oh it's very very Sadhguru audio in the back Child bearing before 21 years of age, hmm, that's pretty much everyone, uh, like 99% of women, they must all do Hatha Yoga, hmm, how, what business? Must do Hatha Yoga. For Sadhguru. If you do gym, if you run, if you do this and that, run to some extent, but if you're just gymming and doing muscles and you're looking fit, that's not good. You must do intense Hatha Yoga from the age of 12. If a girl child starts doing Hatha Yoga. 
See, there's nothing wrong with saying this as long as you back up your claims with evidence. Give some evidence for why doing Hatha Yoga in women that haven't had kids is beneficial. Give evidence. Don't just say it. Let's actually finish the whole video. She will go through all those issues. People who people, most of them think is a big issue and go through lots of struggles for every stage of development within themselves. They will go through this effortlessly. Yeah. Evidence. Back it up, bro. Yeah, these yoga pages are strongly red flagging with all their content. A lot of yoga pages, I must say. But I need to do a deep dive into yoga. Expect a video on the main channel. One of the biggest questions. Why do green vegetables go in Parushan Mahaparu and Tithiyo in the 5th, 8th, 14th Luna Days? There are two reasons for giving it. One is scientific, the other is mythological. Scientific reason, two things. Number one. Why are you trying to uh, make your religion scientific, bro? Uh, try to mix science into religion. Are you trying to validate it using science? I, I don't know. I've lost count of the number of times I've said this, but <clears throat> religions or religious leaders are against science when science clearly goes religion, but they still need science to validate whatever they're saying. Pick one, bro. Are you with science or are you against science? Now, whatever he is about to say is pure pseudoscience, I am sure. In 1901, Jagdish Chandra Bose had proved that there is life in the plant. If you have to experience the ocean in low tide, then we can experience it usually in Luna Days. The human body also affects the effect of human body as much as the gravitational force affects the ocean. It is also more than 70% of water. So, I am sure you have all come across this argument before. Number one, the human body is not 70% plus water. It's less than 65 percent water. Number one, the human body is not 70% plus water. less than 65 percent water tides affect water in the oceans because that water is free flowing water the human body is not made of free flowing water gravity cannot make it you know move so easily like in a container or something free flowing is different from water molecules that are part of uh, you know cells and organs and whatever now about his jagdish chandra bose point i will speak about it more uh, by showing you uh, showing you something online पर जब आप ग्रीन ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स खाते हो, ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स हो, डेज के अंदर ज़्यादा वाटर एब्सॉर्ब करते हैं जिसकी वजह से होता कुछ ऐसा है कि आपका बॉडी ज्यादा डिहाइड्रेशन फील करता है टॉक्सिसिटी फील करता है और उसकी वजह से फ्यूचर के अंदर आपके हेल्थ प्रोजन कॉन्स ज्यादा बढ़ जाता है तो उसी वजह से जनरली नूना डेज और तिथि के दिन आपको ग्रीन What is the reason why this happens only on Luna days? Just back whatever you're saying up with some evidence, brother. वेजिटेबल्स अवॉइड करने चाहिए दूसरा माइथोलॉजिकल रीजन जैनिजम अहिंसा को बहुत ज्यादा फॉलो करता है नॉन वायलेंस के अंदर बिलीव करता है ग्रीन वेजिटेबल जब वाटर एब्सॉर्ब करता है ना उस ड्यूरेशन पर ज्यादा माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इफेक्ट होते हैं तो पर्यूशन ड्यूरेशन पर ऐसा माना जाता है कि हमसे कम से कम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म को इफेक्ट हो और पेन होना उसकी वजह से ही आठ दिन तक ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स को भी अवॉइड किया जाता है या दैट्स बेसिकली द ओनली रीजन बट या श्योर वट एवर मेक्स यू हैप्पी आई गेस तो आज से बेसिक चीज ये स्टार्ट करो एटलीस्ट महीने के अंदर जब जब तिथि आती है I should talk about Jainism too, because Jainism is also riddled with a lot of pseudo science. Even though uh, the philosophy of Jainism rejects uh, any idea of God, it's still riddled with pseudo science. Luna days आते हो duration पर vegetables को avoid करना start करो, and you will see that three to four months के अंदर आपकी health के अंदर एक नया transformation होगा. जल मिलते हैं कोई और depthful video के साथ, तब तक के लिए stay tuned with me. So coming to Jagdish Chandra Bose, uh, let's look at what he did. Now, people are instantly going to attack me saying, hey, this is from Wikipedia, it's not reliable. Okay, you give me some counter uh, sources that uh, shows you what I'm saying is wrong or uh, show something else as what's actually happening. But until then, I think this is what we should go with. So uh, what did, yeah, what did Jagdish Chandra Bose do? Bose conducted most of his research studies in plants, plant research on Mimosa, Pudicia and Desmodium gyrans plants. His major contribution in the field of biophysics was the demonstration of electrical nature of conduction of various stimuli, example bones chemical agents in plants which were earlier thought to be of a chemical nature. Uh, in order to understand the heliotropic movements in plants, the movement of plants towards a light source, Bose invented a torsional recorder. Now, Nowhere here has it been said that Bose discovered life in plants. In fact, I know of experiments like those done by uh, Gregor Mendel, uh, which 
talk about genetics in plants he he is known as the father of genetics and his experiments in plants breeding plants was done in the 1800s if i remember correctly so uh, we know we have known for a very long time that plants have life what both did was he experimentally figured out what is the mechanism that causes plants to uh, turn toward a light source and that's what uh, we can read over here he found that light applied to one side of the flower causes cucor increase on the opposite side these claims were uh, later proven experimentally he was also the first to study the action of microwaves in plants plant tissues corresponding uh, changes in cell membrane potential he researched the mechanism of seasonal effect of plants the effect of chemical inhibitors on plant stimuli plant sensory responses have been compared to the neurobiological processes in animals plant neurobiology mostly uh, concerns mostly the sensory adaptive behavior of plants and plant electrophysiology is indian scientist jc bose is credited as the first person to research and talk about neurobiology of plants many plant scientists and neuroscientists however view the term plant neurobiology as a misnomer because plants do not have neurons plant neurobiology which is the idea a lot of people credit jc bose with is criticized plant neurobiology does not mean uh, does not add to our understanding of plants in physiology plant cell biology or signaling there is no evidence for structures such as neurons synapses or brain in plants see so that's it i think um, when people talk about plants having feelings I, i think that's a very vague way of saying it but uh if they mean that plants have neuronal sensation of uh these stimuli it's clearly not evidence based there are things that uh jc bose did but they don't show one plants have life and two plants can sense have neuronal perception like animals do i'll see you in the next one